Question 10a. We're given the arithmetic sequence negative 6, negative 2 and half, 1, and the last term of the sequence is 71. And we are asked to find the common difference. You know the common difference D, common difference D is equal to the subsequent term minus the previous terms. And then the previous term. So let's say the subsequent term is 1 and the previous term will be negative 2 and half. So this will be equal to 1 plus 2 and half and this will be equal to 3 or number 1 over 2 or 7 over 2. Now we know that we have to find ii the number of terms in the sequence. So we know our first term to be equal to negative 6 and we know our last term to be equal to 71. We know our common difference to be equal to 7 over 2. So we use the relation u sub n is equal to a plus n minus 1d. So we have 71 is equal to negative 6 plus into bracket n minus 1 times 7 over 2. We create a function by multiplying through by 2 to obtain 2 times 71 will give us 1, 42 is equal to 2 times this will give us negative 12 then plus, n, plus 7 into bracket n minus 1 d n minus 1 7 into bracket n minus 1 now we group like times to obtain 1 4 2 plus 12 is equal to 7 into bracket n minus 1 now this will give us 154 is equal to 7 to bracket n minus 1. We divide both sides by 7 by 7. So 7 going to this 22 times. Then this will give us this will cancel this. We are left with n minus 1. So our n will now be equal to 22 plus 1 which is 23 so we have 23 times in the sequence now let's analyze the B the difference between the third and first terms of a geometric progression is 42 we know the first term of a geometric progression is given by A then the second term is given by a r the third term is given by a r to the power 2 then the fourth term is given by a r to the power 3 and the general term is given by a r to the power n minus 1 that's the general term of a geometric sequence now they are saying that the difference between the first and the the, the difference between the third and the first term is 42 so this minus this is 42 so we have a r squared minus a is equal to 42 
we can rewrite this as a into bracket r squared minus 1 is equal to 42 so let's call this our equation 1 then also they are saying that if the fourth term if the fourth term is greater than the second term by 168 so here is the fourth term and here is the second term if this is greater than this by 150, 168 then it means we have to add 168 to this before it will be equal to this or we subtract 168 from this before it will be equal to this so we have a r to the power 3 is equal to a r plus 168 and we can rewrite this as a r cube minus a r is equal to 168 we can further simplify this or factor it to write a r into bracket r squared minus 1 is equal to 168 now let's call this equation 2 now let's divide equation 2 by equation 1 equation 2 divided by equation 1 so we are going to obtain a r a r into bracket r squared minus 1 over over a into bracket a into bracket r squared minus 1 is equal to 168 divided by 42 now this will imply that now this will cancel this and this will also cancel this so this gives us our r to be equal to 4 so the common ratio is 4 because 168 divided by 42 is 4. Then to find our A, we put R into any of these equations. Or uh, let's say we put R into here. So we have A to be equal to 42 over R squared, which is 4 squared minus 1. And this will give us 42 over 15. Now, we are asked to find the fourth term. So that is i for us. Now the i, i. The fourth term will be equal to, so use of 4 will be equal to a, which is 42 over 15 times r which is 4 to the power 3 that is the fourth term so this will be equal to 42 times 64 over 15 and this will give us 179 whole number 1 over 5.